the thing for me is that a melody will be in my head and I'll work the, the chords that I'm working with, I'm going, that doesn't actually fit. But as I'm working on it, the melody will bend around the chord. Or if, if, the, if the melody in my head is so locked in, I will find by stretching my fingers or inverting my fingers, I will find the chord. Um, I don't know which way um, songs come to you, to different people, but for me it's generally a melody, so just walking along and uh, I'll say goodbye is one, if you know that one, it's just like, I'll say goodbye even though I'm blue, and the whole thing is basically in my head. And then so I'll was that a two chord thing for you when you did that? Because I mean, uh, were you playing it full chord or you just doing the two chord thing there? I got back to the flat and worked out. And that, you had the melody first, yeah, and then you came up with the and then then worked the chords, worked yeah. the chord, and that was a melody that was so insistent, so um, insidiously hooked that I really couldn't bend, I couldn't follow, I couldn't put any other chords in unless you wanted to lose the melody, yeah, yeah, sort of thing. Did um, you have the lyrics as well? Yeah, the, the lyrics. See, this is the thing with uh, Geordie, like, which is a different process than other people, myself included. He always has to have lyrics. Like, he has to have something there. Whereas, like, um, other people and myself would just, we'd be, I'd be going, sound down is found, to see it be found. You know, I'd just be like, doesn't matter what it ever is. But, like, to me, and obviously works for Jordan, uh, but for me, it's like just, I, I call it just. Yeah, it's basically just garbage, basically just well, but lyrically. Not, but not always, because you, a song we recently, it's our last, uh, last single, um, it's essentially Brian, and you had the whole melody, which is, I don't want to. Right. I don't want to feel if it's wrong or right. So, I can get used to feeling lonely, only if you're lonely too. And then... So I had no, basically, uh, lyrics at that point, did I? I can't even remember. So well, great. yeah, he sang, he sang that to me, and that, I said, that's great. So, but it could, I know that you might have heard the story, Paul McCartney's uh, Yesterday, started off as scram scrambled eggs, la -da 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 something bad, uh, and then the rest, it, it can work gobbledygook yeah. into... Because I find it easier writing to a melody that you have in your head, like, you can, like to me, you can say the same thing a thousand different ways, but for a, over a certain progression, uh, in my head, there's probably only four or five really hooky melodies, and so that's why I try and sort out first, and then uh, you know, let uh, wax lyrical afterwards. Whereas like you, you, I've never heard, and I've tried to get you to do that as well, but it's like no, 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 because it's like it's <laughs> well. Because that kind of turns you on almost more, like, ah, oh, this is a clever little phrase, and it's like, you get kind of, you get that smile, and you're like, ah, oh, this is good, this is, I like that. And, and, the, the, and an, an analogy has been made of me and Brian's writing, I don't know if you know of the cane toad in Queensland? Well, they brought in the sugar, the, the sugar beetle, there was a growing sugar, and they brought in the sugar beetle. But, and the, I mean, so the sugar beetle followed the sugar cane. And the sugar beetle would eat all the, um, the cane. But they brought in the cane toad to eat the sugar beetle, except for that the sugar beetle, which is Brian will we'll say, he works, eats away at night, and the cane toad, he comes out at night, which is me. And so we've been called that. Well, yeah, yeah. Our working relationship is he's a beetle and I'm a toad, or vice versa. Basically, he's saying that I sleep in and that uh, he goes to bed early. So yeah. that's. We have, we have this about 15 minutes a day where we can actually create <laughs> something. <laughs> yeah, usually about, <laughs> about 8.30 at night and then he has to go to bed and then yeah. I won't get to sleep till 3, so, but I won't rise to 12. 2.30 in the afternoon is really good for us. Right. However, yeah. having said that, uh, you may have, um, there are procedures, there are disciplines that songwriters uh, adhere to. We're reading um, Nick Cave, who 5 in the morning will get up put on a suit and start the day as any sort of office job would person would and will work lyrically, musically from say 9 to 12, 
the hours. It's just the, pr the process of getting up and, and working that way. Guys like Holland Dozier Holland would work, who wrote Mo most of the hits for Motown, would start at nine. And if they hadn't turned out a hit song by 11, they'd kind of, oh, well, <laughs> we're not calling it a day. We'll take a break. And then they'd um, religiously kick back in at 12 and go, you know, until they had a song either for The Temptations or Diana Ross. And then they'd, they'd take it to the Funk Brothers, basically, that day and go, OK, here, here's how it goes. Put down, the, put down the beast and have it recorded. Me and Brian, we aren't quite that assiduous. No. <laughs> but I also find that you can get music out, so there's no point, for me at least, that, um, that wouldn't work because I'd just be like, oh, I just, you know, I just can't can't be bothered writing something because you know it's just not going to come. But the, the, the moments I really treasure are those moments where you almost, and it, you could be watching the telly while you, you've got your guitar or, or completely not prepared for it. I remember, I remember going, I was meant to be somewhere and just before I left I had this kind of cork, this epiphany or whatever you want to call it, this kind of thing where you're almost channel, channeling some sort of influence or some sort of moment that you know it's good and it's, it's, it's almost uh, out of body, in, in my experience anyway, that you almost can't really take credit for it because it's like, and it's going on, it only usually lasts between three to five minutes. But those are the moments that uh, have always borne the best fruit for me and those are also the moments that once that moment happens that it's, you know something's there and it's obviously not completely formed or whatever but it's the the essence of the idea or the essence of the song that you need to record that straight away. As soon as that, that three or five minutes in my experience stops that, oh, I don't even know who wrote that, it just came out of the air. Record that because then after that uh, people will follow their own process of songwriting which they've learnt through whatever means, you know, it's a, a, the, almost their style and al almost homogenise what that first moment was. So It'll bend it. Yeah. And, and almost to a, almost a, a normal way that you'd go, well, okay, I've written this and then so therefore I'll put the bridge there and I'll go there for the whatever. But my advice would be to record that nugget of the idea and always A, B it with as long as the process of that song until you've finished it with how long it takes. Always A, B that idea with that original nugget and compare it and see if there's still the, the magic of it is still there. Because you can go down that process and just kind of lose the, and the it, essence well, of Brian, it. Brian, having said that though, I will often have this corker we thing. I think it's a corker. And in the morning, I won't remember it, but I, I, my reasoning is, oh, it can't have been that good. Yeah, that's so annoying <laughs> for me. That's so annoying. Like, many times I've recorded him and he's came up with this melody and because I'm used to it now, I will, had, I will A, B his own melodies that he still thinks are the same as what he did the week before. I'm like, no, but you're missing this whole phrase here that was magic, you know? Yeah. So it's worth not taping. Yeah. What you're saying. Yeah, I am. <laughs>